I've been mining helium with the Bobcat Helium Miner for about seven months with a three time return on investment since setting up. Now there are other miners in my area that have made considerably more just in the first two months of the year. When comparing, you'll notice that my earnings are one third the profitability of my helium mining neighbors or DBI omnidirectional antenna, which isn't suited for my situational circumstances. My neighbor's miner most likely has been mounted to a roof with ample line of sight for the helium miners radio broadcast. The basic rule of thumb, the more you can see, the better your helium miners profitability will be. Unfortunately, my miner's line of sight is heavily restricted, making omnidirectional antennas 50 to 75% of the broadcast useless. To solve this, I decided to purchase a 12 dBi directional antenna broadcasting in one specific line of sight that is available at my helium miner's location. With the 12 dBi directional antenna, you'll need to order a LMR or SMA cable which you can get directly from Rack Wireless, which you'll want to calculate how much cabling you will need for your antenna's broadcasting location, as well as the cable's DBI loss, which can be calculated below in the description at timesmicrowave.com, which that'll be the first link. The basic formula goes, final signal expected equals beginning DBI minus signal loss. Calculating the signal loss has three inputs, the cable type, the frequency, and the run length. For my calculations, I went with a LMR 400 cable, which on average has a 900 megahertz frequency with six feet of cabling. I chose the LMR 400 cable due to the low DBI loss compared to SMA cabling. Though the LMR costs more, the profits will be higher than the SMA cable. When I did my calculations, taking my 12 DBI minus my six feet of cabling, my calculations came out to 11.7 DBI. This is basically because I have a 12 DBI antenna here. We have six foot of cabling and then 0.3 DB loss, bringing our total to 11.7. After calculating your specifications and acquiring all needed equipment, you are ready for setting up your antenna with the Helium Miner app. Now, if you don't have the Bobcat, but a different Helium Miner, this process will be identical. Step one, go into your Helium Miner app, type in your password and all that. After accessing the homepage, go to the miner that you want to adjust the antenna on, then go to the gears, middle right side. From there, update hotspot. And then from there, select antenna. You're gonna choose the custom antenna. From there, you'll put in the TXRX gain, your total DBI after it's accounted for the loss that we've calculated, minus 11.7. And then for height, you'll want to make sure that you have it properly measured. This is somewhat important for helium miners broadcasting to each other, so make sure you have this correct. Now in the app that we have our antenna specifications done, we can update the antenna. It's going to cost a little bit, 55 cents in total. It says 55,000 DC, but that is um, a very cheap cryptocurrency. Now this charge is directly taken from your helium wallet from previous mining earnings. After swallowing the loss of 55 cents, submit. And now it will take some time for updating. Of course, you want to have your helium miner plugged in and uh, your antenna plugged in. Beyond that, you'll want to make sure that you have the right cable set up and you have everything calculated for your DBI loss. Other than that, guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. Now that you're all done, your miner is ready to rock some fat profits. Hopefully this provided clarity for setting up your new antenna. As always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video. And if you have any questions about helium mining, stop by my Tuesday or Thursday, 7, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time live stream. 3D print sweepstakes giveaway where there's always a winner. Thanks again, guys. Happy mining. Stay elevated and peace out.